Are you ready for 30 more years of Trump? America's laws and freedoms will be under Trump's influence for at least that long, easily longer, if he's re-elected and gets to appoint more federal judges. Three key facts about what Trump 2.0 would mean for the Supreme Court and the rest of the federal judiciary. Number one. Trump's most significant accomplishment was packing the courts with young right-wing judges. Trump appointed more than 200 federal judges in just four years. This was largely made possible by Republicans' success at blocking Obama nominees, gifting 100 open bench seats to Trump on his first day in office. By the time Trump left, he'd appointed more than a quarter of all active federal judges, as well as a third of the Supreme Court. And Trump's appointees are doing what he said they'd do. Do you want to see the court overturn Roe v. Wade? Well, if we put another two or perhaps three justices on, that's really what's going to be, ha that will happen. Trump's judges at every level were disproportionately white and male. But their age is especially important when we're talking about lifetime appointments. Some of the appointees were only in their 30s. All three of Trump's Supreme Court picks were under 55 when nominated. In fact, Justices Gorsuch and Barrett were in their 40s. Given that justices in recent years have served to an average age of 81, even if Trump is not re-elected, his justices are likely to continue making up a third of the court until 2047. Take a moment. Try to imagine where you will be in 2047. Wherever it is, Trump will still be impacting your life. That's how far-reaching the repercussions of presidential elections are. And that's just if Trump's not elected to a second term. What happens if he is? Number two, there's reason to think that 75-year-old Justice Thomas and 73-year-old Justice Alito would retire if Trump is re-elected, giving him a chance to appoint a fourth and fifth justice, and making him the first president in more than half a century to appoint the majority of the court. If Trump sticks with appointing justices in their 40s, his picks could be dominating the court past 2060. On top of that, Justice Sotomayor turns 70 this year. Chief Justice Roberts is 69. Just Justice Kagan turned 64. It is easy to imagine a scenario where Trump could appoint a sixth Supreme Court justice. And there's plenty of reason to think that in a second term, Trump would pick judges who are more extreme and whom he sees as more personally loyal to him. The current Supreme Court has already struck down Roe v. Wade, struck down gun laws, ended affirmative action, eroded the separation of church and state, weakened environmental protections, and floated overturning the rights to contraception and same-sex marriage. Just imagine what an even more conservative, more deeply entrenched, and more MAGA-aligned court would do. MAGA Republicans are already talking about banning birth control, making it illegal for LGBTQ people to exist openly in public, incarcerating people who get abortions. There has to be some form of punishment. For the woman. Yeah. Getting rid of Obamacare, Social Security, Medicare, the minimum wage, and unions. A court like that could make their dreams come true. They could even end up ruling on whether the 22nd Amendment really bars Trump from serving more than two terms, or whether he has the authority to cancel an election. Number three. So what happens if President Biden is re-elected? At the Supreme Court level, it's hard to predict. Thomas, Alito, and Roberts would certainly try to stick it out until the next Republican presidency. Biden might not get to appoint any justices in a second term. But where we could see immediate change is where we're already seeing it, in the crucial lower federal courts. According to the nonpartisan American Bar Association, President Biden has done a better job than Trump of choosing qualified judges. Trump appointed multiple federal judges that the ABA found to be not qualified for their positions. And Biden's well-qualified picks also make the federal judiciary look more like America, with more women, more people of color, and more out LGBTQ judges. Advocacy groups like the Brennan Center for Justice argue that a federal bench that better reflects the diversity and values of the American people will be fairer and more likely to protect rights than strip them away. Either way, one of these two candidates will be sworn in this January, and the judicial appointments he makes will impact all of our lives for decades to come.